You do this tutorial at your own risk. I cannot be responsible for any damage you may do to your printer or anything else or any self injuries you might incur. Yeah. yeah, dude, this is part three of the time lapse tutorial. Get your time lapses, bro. Time lapses all day, bro. This is a three part tutorial on how to create time lapses like this with your smartphone. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this old phone that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth and I'm open up my Bluetooth settings and I'm gonna search. And you should see it pop up, the Prusa Cam Feather BT. I'm gonna go ahead and click that to pair it. And then bam, once you're connected, you're good to go forward. Also, once it's connected, you should see that blue light on the back of the board. So here we are over here. I have my, I have a chair. I have this tripod so I can hold my camera in front of my printer. And when the printer takes its picture, the bed is all the way forward. Make sure you have your phone connected to charger so that it has power and it won't turn off or die while it's taking pictures. Check, double check my Bluetooth settings and I can see that my board is connected. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my settings and what I'm looking for is any type of thing that might turn off my screen. Screen savers, timeouts, anything like that. You wanna turn it off. You want your screen to be always on. Right here under screen timeout, I'm gonna open that. And right here, I'm gonna turn it to tell it to keep the screen on. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my camera app. I'm gonna try to get a position so whatever you're printing is gonna be in that field of view. If your phone has an advanced option, you may have to open up your settings on your camera. It gives you a lot more features. And my phone is pretty old. It does not have the advanced feature, but once you have the Bluetooth connected, your camera's set up, you're ready to go. Okay, now we have to add some G code to our prints. So I'm gonna open up the, the Prusa slicer. And on the tutorial website, it'll tell you what you need. For the MK3 and MK3S, you'll want this code here. So what I'm gonna do now is copy this code right here. And I'm gonna go back to the Prusa Slicer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Printer Settings. And right here, you may only have one option. I have a custom with my Octopi in it. What I'm gonna do is get create a copy of this. To create that copy right here, it says Save Current Printer Settings. I'm gonna click that. And it's gonna ask me to name it. So I'm just gonna leave the octo prefix I originally have on there. And I'm just gonna throw in TL for time-lapse. You can name it whatever you want. So now that I have this in here, I'm going to click on right here, custom G code. And here I'm gonna scroll down. And right here where it says after layer change, box below it, I'm gonna delete everything there. And I'm gonna right click paste what I copied from the website. But make sure to click save up here again. Make sure you save it. And I'm gonna keep the original name, so I'm gonna click OK, save it, and that should be good now. And what I'm gonna print is another one of these camera mounts. I lost mine, not sure what happened to it. And it was made by Kev31779. And there we go, this is ready to print with our time lapse. Make sure I have it selected. I have my Octo time lapse and my G code is here. So I'm ready to start printing that. I have Octopi, so I'm gonna just click Send G code. Click OK. All right, as you can see here now, the print is starting and everything is set up, so. I don't know in a, about an hour if this worked. All right, so it's finally finished. And let's take a look at these photos. What is this? What is this? Give me that camera, boy. This is no good. Bro, we got a problem here. Camera on my phone. It ain't got the software to handle this. It's got no pro features, see? If you can't manual focus and you got autofocus, it's going to take too long to take that picture. Ain't that right, Sam Steve? Yeah, see, you gotta fix it, see? Yeah, we got a solution right here, see? Yeah. Okay, so I do have a solution for your phone if it doesn't have pro features and you can't manual focus or change any of the advanced settings. You can get a third party app. But what I'm gonna first show you is if you can't figure out any way to get any kind of advanced features on your phone or your camera, you can come into the G code here. And if your camera is taking too long to take the picture, you can just increase this. This number right here, 500 milliseconds, the one on the bottom line, you can increase it to maybe 800, 700, play around with it. But this is the one you're gonna wanna change and it'll have your print head stop longer so that you can take that picture. After the semicolon is a comet, worry about the first number. So these pictures did not turn out very well. The camera was getting the signal properly, but it was taking too long to take the picture. And that was because it was trying to autofocus for every frame. This camera by default does not have any advanced features to control that, but you can get third-party camera apps to take care of that. And what I found online was manual cam. It's gonna work great. I played around with it and it's gonna do everything we need. I would recommend this one. This is Android, 
I'm sure Apple has plenty as well. It's probably built into the iPhone. First do is I'm gonna try and control this brightness. Try and set it somewhere good. That's too bright. See, so yeah, I like that right there. And over here, you can adjust the ISO. It's on auto right now. And the reason you wanna change this is that the camera may think the lighting in your room changed for some reason or something like that, or maybe it does, but setting this to a static value will prevent it from changing over time as you are printing. And it'll keep all your pictures the same contrast and color balance. It'll help with that. And I'm gonna exposure locked it and I set it at 400 ISO. So to focus the screen, all you gotta do is click the screen where you want it and you'll get this white box and it'll turn to green once it's focused. But you wanna make sure you have focus locked on. So in the menu on the right, open up the focus settings and make sure you have the lock selected. You can set this, the white balance. I set it to fluorescent. You can change this if you want. I change it to steady photo. I'm gonna try and change anything that's auto off of auto. My focus is locked. I have manual focus now, so it'll take pictures quickly. And I'm gonna try this again and hopefully it'll work. So let's go ahead and print something else. And here's another tip for focusing your camera. Get the camera placed where you about want it so that it won't hit the head or the bed when it moves up to the front. Get the camera where you want it. Place an object of similar size to what you're gonna print. Something with a lot of detail, like that. And then focus to that object. And then remove it and you should be good to print now. So I went to print one time and I ran into a problem. The Bluetooth was sending the signal to the phone. The phone for some reason was not taking the picture. It was driving me crazy. I tried whatever I could to get it to work. What I eventually did was I removed the Bluetooth completely from the phone and I re-added it and then started taking pictures again. But if you have console access to your printer and you know how to insert G-code commands, I'm gonna show you something real quick that can, you can use to test it. Okay, so I have Octopi with my Prusa through the USB port on the top and I can use the terminal to input my G-code commands. There's other ways to do this. You could hook it to your computer. If you've never used G-code commands, I would look at another tutorial before doing this so you're more comfortable with it. The two commands you're gonna to wanna to enter to test if your Bluetooth will take pictures are these two. The M42S225 with trigger and the untrigger. So all you gotta do is copy this, paste it into here, press enter, take this one to untrigger, copy that, paste it into here, press enter, and then it should take a picture. And if it does not take a picture, you may need to restart your printer maybe repair it again with Bluetooth because it's not gonna work if you start printing. So I printed this egg, it just finished, and we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, so on the tutorial website, it referenced this other tutorial, and it's referencing how to turn those videos into a time-lapse. You can use your phone. There's apps on the Android store, the iOS store for turning those photos into a video. But right here, it said there's an app on Windows, the time-lapse creator. I'm gonna go ahead and download that and I'm gonna install this and use that. And creating the time-lapse is kind of out of the scope of this tutorial. I'm gonna do it anyways, using this one way. There are several other ways you could use it. You could use Photoshop to create a GIF. You could, you could use Adobe Premiere. You could use DaVinci Resolve. There's so many ways you could create a time-lapse from those photos. So this software is now open. I'm gonna select my photos folder, but I haven't really got those off my phone yet. So I'm gonna select the, the last file on the phone and go all the way up here to the first one. Looks like it's this one here. I'm gonna copy all those. Copy, drop them into a folder all by themselves and I'm gonna paste them all in here. Okay, so they're in this one folder. So I'm gonna go back to the time-lapse creator. I'm gonna select my photos folder and I'm gonna select that folder and click select folder. Oh, you can see the timeline's building. That's a bit slow for me. I'm gonna reduce the time for each frame. Let's try 100 milliseconds. We go look at that egg. Ooh wee, we got an egg there, baby. Yes we do, baby. Mm-hmm, got an egg, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, baby, there we go, I like that. That's a nice speed. Now, so I'm gonna save my time-lapse video. Ooh wee, I'm gonna put it in my YouTube folder. Now that's gonna create our video. Ooh wee, that looks really nice. I'm very happy with that. Now, this is a very small object and I could probably crop it and get it better. I'm excited with what I'm gonna be able to do with this new setup, and I hope this helps anyone who wants to do this. 
and go create some awesome time lapse and share them everywhere for everybody to see. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, ooh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh baby, oh baby, it's print. Oh, oh baby, ooh wee, look at that, ooh wee. Hey, thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw and comment below with any questions or feedback you might have. Thank you.